When I got this office a few years ago, the first thing I did was get this piece of furniture so that I could have lots of plants. As far as I'm concerned, plants are the number one thing that make a space just somewhere you want to be. Uh, at least that's how I feel. Here's my altar. I've got lots of nature items that I foraged from the campus. That's a magnolia seed pod. This piece of wood I found and I thought it looked like a deer hoof, so I kept it. This is a magnolia leaf that has bleached over time. Then we have a piece of tortoise shell or turtle shell that was given to me. Another piece of bone. We think that's a chicken bone actually. A piece of selenite which is an excellent cleansing stone. And there we have it. Nothing's even in the way. You coming down to me, taking me, holding me, letting me stay. Stay. So baby, before it's too late, lift me up into your space. And that's where you can pray. What you want to take, what you want to say, what you want to say. Yeah, yeah. Here it is. This is the Muji Planner. I need something for planning out my social media posting and I thought this would be a really useful way of doing it because you can kind of fill it all in as you want to. This will be different than having a, a diary. I do have a diary or a planner for other stuff too. Um, is it too much? Maybe. I don't know. I've got a lot of little notebooks up that all fit together in my organiser. Hopefully this won't send me over the edge. Also want to show you this. Cece wrote this last week in class, New Year resolutions. Go out in nature more, go to Japan and Australia, do more crafts, uh, read more books about nature, and I want to learn more about foxes, and I want to be really kind. But this is my favorite, I want to change the world. I'm going to be filming this morning, so I'm getting ready. Breakfast. This is, isn't it pretty? This is um, yogurt, or in, in America we, they call it yogurt. Uh, honey, homemade muesli and berries. The berries are frozen berries that I've thawed. I have noticed if I don't eat like a really good breakfast, which I haven't been doing recently, this is normally what I eat every day. And um, this last week I've kind of, for whatever reason, fallen out of the habit. And 
I've noticed if I don't eat this or if I don't eat something really big and hearty that's hopefully quite nutritionally dense in the morning, um, I'm hungry all day and then I just end up eating food that isn't always good for me. So this is kind of a way of, I think, satiating me after being asleep. And then black tea, uh, no sugar, no milk. Here's my big jar of water. Try and stay hydrated. Oh, I'm crooked. Okay, picture the scene. You have uh, an embroidery design, maybe it's in a magazine or a book. And it says, use your chosen transfer method to transfer the design or words to that effect. And you go, what does that mean? Um, what is my chosen transfer method? That's an excellent question. And we're gonna tackle that today. I'm gonna to show you one of the most common ways to transfer an embroidery design onto fabric. Right, let's talk about how you're gonna transfer your design or more importantly, what you're gonna transfer your design with. If you are going to transfer your design onto fabric and it's pale colored fabric, one of two methods. This is a heat erasable pen. They're really easy to get. You can buy them in different colors. I've got a blue and a red here, just so that if I'm using um, a, a different colored fabric, they contrast better. You can use this, they draw onto fabric really easily because they've got like a gel roller at the top. They don't tend to pick up a lot of lint. So you could use one of these. When you are done with your design, you can use a, an iron or a hairdryer and um, go over your design with that and the ink will disappear. You could just use a standard pencil and that's what actually what we're going to use today. It is a very uh, easy, accessible way to draw your design onto fabric. In most cases, you are going to cover the design with your own stitches, so there's no concern about it leaving marks. Even if it does leave marks, these pencils, over time, the, the marks fade. You can also rub the fabric together a little bit to create friction, and that gets rid of any marks too, eventually. So we're going to use a trusty pencil. This is the design. In bulk is in a few short weeks. I wanted to make a design that would go on my altar to celebrate the season. And if you like this design, you can download it in the Open Coven shop. Details in the description.
got her sisters next to her that are both totally interested in the donut, not just her health and well-being. We are finally painting our bedroom. We've had the same horrible mushroom beige colour for the whole time we've been in this house, uh, which is 12 years, and I've never liked it. And we are finally being brave and painting it. There's, these were our paint samples and the Chad put Cece's name on there. We're going for a really kind of dark teal colour that I think will look very nice with the wood. Actually, this is a conveniently located squishy seat. amazing really excited it was a bold choice <laughs> there we go there's Chad sneezing on my video again <laughs> thank you darling it's gonna be great just want to say thank you to all of you who are coming to this YouTube channel and then going to my website even if uh, you just stay there for a minute and move on making the effort I think it is so important to me and I appreciate it I've only really been doing this for a few months in fact not even really that long I have had the YouTube channel for a while and I have definitely been putting you know tutorials and and things on sporadically but it was only sort of at the end of October of last year that I decided to really make an effort with this and stick to a schedule of uh, one video a week and, and making it a bit more of a vlog versus just a tutorial so I love doing it and I love even more that people are seeing what I'm doing and uh and appreciating it so thank you so much and yeah keep coming back i will post every saturday i hope you know if uh if things like kids don't get sick or i don't get sick or you know all that kind of stuff so hope to see you again soon <laughs>